my mom wants me to do a vitamin D test because that's been proven to help fight off COVID if you get it. And so this is an at-home test and I am so nervous because I don't want to prick my finger. Thank you very much. <laughs> so here we go. Mama is going to be my nurse. Okay, she's like alcohol swabbing me. Swabbing me up. Tell me what you do as you do it. I so can't. Do that next time. We didn't wipe it first with that. Uh, let's go watch the video again. All right, so now she's going to prick my finger and I don't, I don't want to. I'm not going to watch. What are you looking at the instructions for? I'm trying to be inside okay i don't want to so what do i do with this you press oh press it yeah okay ow then you wipe it then you wipe it oh that was like an aggressive okay 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 i don't like this now she's like squeezing my finger to get blood you need more blood you need more blood okay should i do it okay and then you wipe it again right I'm a nurse. <laughs> so we did it. Now I just put a band-aid on. Do you want to be a mom and nurse? Oh my God, it's still bleeding. <laughs> nurse me. All right, so we're having a fancy meal outside. I gave dad some nice, very thin blankets. <laughs> we have a very nice flower arrangement. So for his centerpiece, I gave him a lovely pumpkin. <laughs> You're welcome. What do you think? Thank you. <laughs> and then for the very pretty one, we have lovely thick Luxurious Vikings. <laughs> and now we have a lovely spread of food here that dad got us. Very excited from Not Your Average Joe's. So it's time to hang out outside and dine. So many good foods. Mm, 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 mm. Let's do it. Are you cold, dad? Not at all. <laughs> what would make me think that? <laughs> <laughs> From head to toe, <laughs> literally <laughs> swaddled like a little babushka, <laughs> so cute. So I'm sitting outside today, it is literally so gorgeous, there's a little bit of a breeze so it's not too warm, but if I get cold I can go sit in the sun, mm, mwah, chef's kiss, it's perfect. I was doing a little bit of recruiting this morning for schoolyard adventures. If a counselor from a school says, hey, can we like chat on the phone for a little bit? I'll jump on the phone with Rich, who's the director of schoolyard adventures, and we'll chat with them and answer their questions and stuff. So I did that this morning, and that's so much fun to hear how Rich tells the story of schoolyard adventures and the program. I've been a part of like so many different aspects of the program now with recruitment and then SIP, the Social Innovators Program, and then also Achievement House, their like other parts. So, so many cool things. It's been so much fun. And yeah, the semester's kind of winding down, which is awesome and I'm having a lot more time to just rest but that also means that my body isn't in an adrenaline state anymore and so I don't have adrenaline to get me through and so I'm just kind of tired all the time which is a really funky and frustrating state to be in but I do know that my body needs rest so like between every meeting I'm like resting a lot you do what you can do right so I'm sitting outside, there's a gorgeous gorgeous view and also we have bluebirds who are making a nest right by the deck like basically there's a little hole up oh, there one went <laughs> there's a little hole in our home and they're like making a nest in that hole which isn't like ideal but it's super cute let me show you where it is so if we go over here doo -doo 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 -doo, they've decided that up here there's like a teeny tiny little hole there's a up oh, there's a wasp going in there but in that hole the bluebirds have decided that that's where they're going to build their home <laughs> look there are the bluebirds I'm trying to be quiet, but they're so cute. The mama has a bunch of stuff in her mouth. Oh, there she goes. In they went. So cute. I'm so excited. So I guess they're still building. I really, 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 really want to see babies. He's still there. Oh, there the mama went. Hi, mama. Bye, dada. <laughs> they're so cute. I wanted to mention kind of where I'm at with the vaccine. I know a lot of my friends and a lot of people are asking me like, oh, have you gotten the vaccine yet? Are you able to go out in public yet? And the answer is no and no. <laughs> the recommendation for people who are, who are immunocompromised is even if other people have the vaccine is to not you know, see them in public without a mask. And you know, as you know, like I've been completely self isolating for more than a year now. And so it's just safest for me to continue doing that because I'm able to. And for the vaccine, it actually only is effective in 17% of the people who get it and there's no way to know if you've gotten the vaccine if you are 
like if your immune system has been boosted from it and then you can get like even more side effects than regular healthy people have gotten so my regular care physician is like don't even think about getting it until we have six months of data out there which they don't have yet and then we can go from there but it's not looking good for people who are immunocompromised and so yeah that is definitely sad and frustrating and it would be great to say like oh I can go out and you know see people and you know still be safe but nope that is not the case and so unfortunately yes I am not getting the vaccine at least not yet and we'll just see what happens but yeah that is the unfortunate reality of the situation so yep <laughs> for everyone who keeps asking I really appreciate it I would love to see you all in person and hang out I mean I haven't like hugged anyone in so long other than like my mom so it would be really really nice but yeah not yet someday I have faith that someday soon it will be good wow, it looks like I have like red still which is that part would have grown out so that's confusing but anyway, I get distracted very easily, <laughs> so I'm going to get back to work, but I did just want to do that little disclaimer, so yeah. All right, bye! <laughs> All right, so super exciting news. My nonprofit, Autumn Leaf Fundraisers, did a fundraiser with Forgotten Cats. They were actually going to a brewery because we can't go in person. Another Forgotten Cats volunteer who helped with the virtual fundraiser last fall, she went, she had a booth, and so we sent items with her because we're trying to reach $100,000. We're so close, like we're legit so close. And so yeah, so it was a great sale. They raised, I think, almost $2,000 in total. They had a raffle. They were selling t-shirts. They had like all these different things in addition to some of our items and some other items as well so this is a shirt that we got from the brewery I think this is so cute and it's black which is like the freaking best so there's like a cute little kitty on and it says boop and it's like tipping over a little wine glass and then on one sleeve it has the forgotten cats logo this is like a terrible show and tell and then on the other one it has the brewery <laughs> logo as well but I think it's so cute and it's a black t-shirt which is like pretty much the only color that I wear although of course I'm wearing a lot of gray today but dark colors are preferable and so yeah so cute and it sounded like it was such a fun event so shout out to Sandy from Forgotten Cats she is just doing an incredible job of fundraising and doing so many fun things and so yeah wish I could have been there <laughs> All right, so it has been a really good day so far. It's been gorgeous weather. I was sitting outside on the deck today and just soaking up the sun like a cat. <laughs> but I'm really, really enjoying that, getting my vitamin D in, so that feels good, not burning, which is important. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's this weird transition period where school's starting to wind down. I still have finals and a couple projects doing stuff, but it's not everyday deadlines. And then a lot of the extracurricular projects are winding down as well or are finished. It's weird because I'm catching up on a lot of messages, a lot of emails. I am at 1.05 now of emails all unread. They just need to like have something done with them and then I can get them out of my, my inbox. I'm so close to being, I want to get down to like zero. So we're getting there. We're trying to do five new emails and then five like in the whole emails a day <laughs> to get caught up. And then I got all my unread text messages responded to today, which felt really good. So I'm trying to do those types of things and then stay up on caught up on all platforms with messages, but it's really exhausting. Like I'm not gonna lie. Usually I work on like one or two big projects a day and really just focus in on stuff, right? Or I have a ton of meetings. It's so much brain power to like go back and forth between things. So I'm just looking forward to when I'm fully caught up on messages and stay caught up in messages and then fully caught up on emails and stay caught up on emails and like don't have to keep going back and thinking about stuff. And then, cause I, I feel guilty about not responding for a long time and it just, there's a lot up there that's going on. <laughs> so it definitely is kind of emotionally exhausting, but I am really, really looking forward to kind of finishing up projects, having a little staycation at the end of this month, and then getting into the summer. All these different categories of stuff that I want to accomplish this summer gets me like really excited to start thinking about this summer. So it's all coming together. It's a lot of fun, but yeah, just definitely really like mentally exhausting much more than I thought it would be. So anyway, all right. Let's get back to doing mentally exhausting things. Okay, bye. <laughs>